right, welcome back here. It is Saturday, I believe August 5th, 2023. As usual, it's swampy, 83% humidity, 82 degrees. Today's gonna be a good day though. So what we're plan to do today is we're gonna get some Raptor liner sprayed. Um, I got nine jugs of this stuff, eight in here, one left over from an old job. I got some masking paper, some tape, um, I'm waiting on a, a better masking station. I did order one. It's supposed to be here today. I don't know if it's going to be here in time, but I got this paper machine that's been sitting there for a while. Um, I believe we're going to spend more time masking than we're going to do spray. But what a, the goal for today is to basically get the firewall all the way back, all the way back, all the way back into the trunk in Raptor. So wheel, wheel, uh, wheel houses, quarters, the whole job on the inside. And then come back next weekend or, or possibly during this week and, and flip it on its side and then do the, the bottom half. And then it's ready to come off the rotisserie, which I'm really excited for because this thing is a pain to move in and out. Anyways, yesterday I spent about an hour or two cleaning up, washing with a red pad and soap and water, the floorboards, which was probably a total waste of time. Just want to clean it up and then I blew it out and I blew a bunch of trash so I need to vacuum it. Did the same in the trunk. Um, I am going to smear a little bit of seam sealer but not much on, on the top side really. Not much. Just a little bit right there as you can see. Possibly a little bit right here. Might run a bead down here. I, I don't know. I got like three tubes of seam sealer. Um, but I mean, it's not like this thing's going to be driven in the rain. So not going to go too heavy on the seam sealer. We also didn't remove much of the factory. So, like I say, it's probably going to take more time to mask than it is to actually spray. I got some help on the way. I'm going to take the trunk off. And I want to mask the whole thing up. So an important thing to note, which I've done this Raptor a few times now, is uh, <clears throat> you want to do the Raptor, or at least my suggestion, is you want to do the Raptor after the last prime and before the final sand that means there's going to be some overspray i mean unless you sit here and really really mask there's going to be some overspray but it's going to be really minimal and four and six hundred grit really knock it off pretty easy the reason why you do it after the last prime is because you don't because the raptor is going to be tinted um, or you can do it black if you did it black it'd probably be even worse um, if you have everything nice and black or nice and red or whatever color on the inside and then you gotta, you still gotta prime. So you have to prime the dash, you have to prime the door jam, you're gonna get overspray onto your Raptor. And uh, may or may not be a big deal for some people, but I like to keep the job as clean as possible. And uh, so you do it after the last prime and before the final sand. That way, the final sand, you're knocking off any little splatter or overspray that got here or there, and uh, you come out with a clean job. So like I said, yesterday I spent a little bit of time, literally, washing the floor pan with soap and water and we're gonna spray today so i got plenty i ordered eight jugs plus i had one so it's nine that should be plenty for this entire job probably gonna have some left over i'm anticipating but it's gonna be color match green i got a quart of paint uh the same color of the car i didn't want to tap into the gallons that i have um because i, I don't want to run out of that so that was mixed at the same time in december and I, this quart might be a, a shade off because uh, it's from a different batch or whatever and I didn't want to tap into my gallon and then something go wrong during the paint process and I got to respray something and I don't have enough paint and you got to go get some and then it doesn't match so I went and bought another quart it was a hundred dollars for a quart of paint to do this Raptor so that being said let me get the vacuum out start vacuuming this stuff mask it and we should be spraying after lunch today. Bring you guys back. Alright, so we got this thing masked up. It is 100 degrees in here. We had a hell of a morning. We're about to get caught up. Uh, so we're, making, we're spraying a tenable wrapper. It calls for 8 ounces of hardener per jug so this jug is 24 ounces uh, eight ounces for a hardener 
three ounces of base coat to make it tintable. And I believe the instructions say you want the, the base with no binders, but I don't think that even matters, man. Like, it doesn't matter at all. Uh, the quarter base was $118. And I got nine jugs, so I'm thinking, we're thinking five up top and maybe four on the bottom. You go from the dash all the way to the tail panel. We spent some time cleaning it, but we didn't we didn't really go too crazy with it because like the floor you're never gonna see. Nobody's ever gonna see that shit. Up under the dash, nobody's ever gonna see that. So this stuff is gonna stick regardless, regardless of the prep. Uh, I did clean it with a red scuff pad. Like if we were gonna be doing the outside of a Jeep or something, like you know how guys like to do the wrapper on the outside, then I would recommend da the whole thing down. But for something like this. The whole thing's not even covered up with carpet anyways. Mainly my concern is the underneath, which then again, it's the underneath of the car. So you can't give too much, too much, you know, you don't want to wreck your brain over this stuff too much, man. All you do is mix it up and spray it. Don't think about it too much. Once you shake it, there we go. So I put a, an old uh, uh, nut in here. So it acts as a rattle can basically. I know in the previous videos, I think I've done like three videos this Raptor. The first time we did it, we mixed it up in a pitcher and stirred it up and all that and made a you know mess. I mean, that's one way to do it. And then somebody, a, a viewer, uh, tipped me on to putting a, a nut in the jug and shake it up. And we're ready to go. We're gonna spray it at about 45 PSI. So you might want to put your mask on. We're gonna go ahead and mix up two at a time. It comes with this little plastic little thing here for eight ounces. We don't want to mix them all up at, the, at one time, like all four, because if we run into a situation, you know, then you got four of them and they're already cooking. Yeah, you don't want to you know mix too much then like i say if something comes up with a compressor or any any situation then you're on the time limit you know you don't want that so two at a time i'm gonna wear gloves on this it's already getting on my hand a little toasty out here back it is still a hundred degrees we didn't really record a whole lot of the process because man it's just too hot man to try and stand here with the camera mixing getting dirty sweating pouring spilling we just couldn't do it man so we just cut the camera down and put put the camera down and got to work but the whole thing is coated pretty good pretty good this actually used up six jugs so i'm gonna have to order maybe two more to do the bottom i got three left and i don't think that's enough Push it out here to let it cook. Digging it, digging it. So we covered up that quarter patch that we patched in. Covered up over there. The rafter does a pretty good job. We put a little bit of seam sealer down on 
some areas not too much though see where we patched the floor pan so that's going to be it for this weekend push it out here let it bake next weekend i'm gonna come in flip this thing on the side and, and repeat but it's going to be a lot easier i mean there was a method to this we uh we did up under the dash first as you saw worked our way back we had to get in and get get those sides first then get this side then get this and then we did the trunk we did the back first inside the trunk a couple little light spots that you can see in the sun now but the trunk mat's going to cover most of it now i'm not too much worried about it so bring you guys back next weekend once we get this thing on the side all right, all right, welcome back. Today is Friday, August 11th, 2023, it's noon. That's what we're looking like. Today, in a couple hours here, I wanted to get the bottom side of the car in Raptor liner. So I'm gonna mask off the firewall and we gotta strap down the top rack so it doesn't go flippity flop. And where we left off last weekend was we got this, we got the inside all done. So uh, we're going to flip this thing on the side. I'm waiting on some reinforcements to get here. Uh, I don't have a gun. I don't have a pistola. Because last weekend we ended up just throwing it away. Seems like those things are easier to throw away than they are to sit there and try and clean. So we're without a gun. I only have three jugs. Uh, of Rafter. FedEx is out for delivery on two more today, so hopefully they're going to get here within the next couple hours. It's going to take about two hours to mask or so, maybe an hour, and then, and then it'll be a waiting game. But that's the plan for today, is to get this bottom side, the bottom side of the car in Raptor. And uh, I'm hoping I can get away with four jugs worth, but we'll see. Got plenty of base coat, but, you know, it's just a matter of, 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 of doing it. So, when you get to masking, 100 degrees out here got to get some fans going get some air movement and i'll bring you guys back here in a minute all right so we're back we got this thing flipped on the side we had to uh rework it on the lift because it was on the wrong setting on this upper so that was unscheduled got a special guest in the house back back in action yes, sir. yep so we're just gonna go straight to Raptor, man. I don't see a need to scuff any of this. It's it's 99 degrees out here. And if anybody wants to come scuff it, they're free. <laughs> free to come do it, but I ain't doing it. It's too hot. Um, it's gonna stick regardless. That stuff is like made on another planet. So yeah, the, uh, the FedEx truck showed up. So we're in business. I got two extras. So we got five total. I would like to be able to pull this off with four. Maybe, I, I don't know, man. Well, uh, at least five. That way I have one for the inner fenders and the cruiser skirt. And that would be it. So once we get to spraying, this ain't gonna take long, man, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Strap the top rack down. It ain't going nowhere. Put a little bit of a little bit of tape in here just so it doesn't shoot out. Shoot out and land on the areas that need to be sanded. Pretty straightforward. Bring you guys back once we get to mixing.
big chunk. All right, here we are. It's four o'clock now, and it's, it's done. It's still uh, it's 99 degrees. It cooled off. It got a cold front. <laughs> so man, I, he sprayed the whole thing. I didn't. I didn't spray. I mixed it. But uh, man, you made it happen at the end, right there. Man, so <laughs> something to note. Where's this gun at? Here See, Raptor done caught on, man. Yeah. Raptor done caught on. The other one's in the trash. Yeah, but it's basically double the size. So the the gun that came with the two bottles that I bought on eBay came with a gun, and the 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 nozzle is is probably twice the size of this. So on the first first bottle. He was spraying it, this area, and and man, he ran out like, yeah, like ran out in like three square feet. I'm like, damn, that that ain't that don't sound right. And it's because they put a bigger nozzle with the gun, and I think that's so they could sell more material. Yep, that's exactly. <laughs> Get you to buy more material because it doesn't cover as good because the tip is so big on the gun. Yeah, I mean, that's what would have happened today. We would have ran out. We would have ran out, and we would have found ourselves going going somewhere to go look for something. We would we were banking on four with one left over, but we had sprayed three and we weren't even halfway. So uh, we had to I had to do some magic mixing and uh reduced it and use the old jugs and shake it around, add a little bit more hardener and kind of just mix and match it and, and we made it and stretch it. And it worked. This tip, this tip is old, man. It's at least four years old. Yeah, that's what you did your car. And you said with your car, it was eight jugs, top and bottom. Top and bottom, in and out. So this one was uh, five on the bottom. And I got to go back and look at the previous video, but I want to say five on top. Yeah, because I had three left over. Actually, six, because I had one extra. Six on top, five on the bottom, which is too much. I think in the future it can be reduced and there isn't much difference in the texture. A little bit, a little bit, but not much, man. Like this is this was reduced big time. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. And and this area wasn't so much. So but you can definitely make the shit stretch, man, instead of spending five hundred dollars on undercoating. Stretch it. Reduce it. Mix Splash it back in the old, in the old bottle. So if you guys have an old gun, yeah, clean it. Yeah, I'll recommend keeping that tip. And this is a U pole gun. It is a U pole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the one that came today was a no namer. Oh, it didn't it didn't say U pole? No, no, man, it's a knockoff. So they they're, they're doing that on purpose, man. Sell you this this gun that you should use for spray insulation. And so you got to buy eight jugs to do a trunk. That's criminal. Opted not to seam seal nothing. Mainly because, man, I, 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 don't, I don't need that. I don't see the point. It's too hot. What do you think? Everything is encased in epoxy. Yeah, under Everything this. Everything's pretty much brand new. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. And it's the bottom of the car. And we, we <laughs> did overkill when we welded this floor. Yeah. It's plug welded more than ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So, so next up is uh, get flip, get this thing on the body cart, and final sand, man, and paint in about two weeks. That's the goal, Labor Day paint. I got all the materials, got the paint, got the clear, got the reducer, got tack rags, got got everything. Just need time. So, hope you guys enjoy this little episode here. Bring you guys back uh, once we start prepping for paint. <laughs>